Our rafting trip now takes a quick stop where the Little Colorado River, called the LCR for short, joins with the Colorado River at mile 61.7. Camping is not allowed here, but the time it takes to stop is well worth it, especially when the Little Colorado River is blue. The LCR has two colors. It is either a beautiful aquamarine blue or it is muddy. This photo depicts its muddy phase. As you follow the current of the LCR down to its confluence with the Colorado River, you can see the extreme difference between the muddy water of the LCR and the clear emerald green water of the Colorado. There is a distinct demarcation between the muddy and clear waters. However, as you look downstream, beyond the first bend in the joined rivers, the waters have already mixed due to the turbulence of the riffle below the confluence. From here on downstream, if the LCR is muddy, the Colorado River will be roily too. Historically, the local Native Americans used the LCR as a trail to access a deposit of salt along the bank of the Colorado River, just below the confluence of the LCR on river left. The salt deposit still exists, but visitation by non-natives is prohibited. The Little Colorado is where Ben Beamer decided to set up home. He moved into and modified an existing Indian ruin on the south side of the Little Colorado River, just up around the river bend from here. Beamer utilized the area for prospecting. Rotate your view just a bit to the right and high up towards the sun. You can see the silhouette of Cape Solitude. Its elevation is 6,146 feet at the top of the south rim. There's a lot of interesting geology here at the Little Colorado Confluence. The Colorado River has been flowing within the narrow confines of the Marble Canyon since just past our departure point at Lee's Ferry. The Marble Canyon ends here. As we look upstream on the Colorado on river left, actually to the right for us since we are looking upstream, we see the desert facade, the massive cliffs rising straight up from the Colorado that form the eastern wall of Marble Canyon for many miles upstream. On the other side of the Colorado, though, notice the new rock formation, the Tapit Sandstone that is just beginning to rise up from river level. Just beyond the confluence, Chewer Butte soars up above the Colorado, and we can see the entire sequence of Grand Canyon formations from the Tapit Sandstone at river level on up to the Kaibab Limestone at its summit. Notice the sloping brown formation just above the Tapits, the Bright Angel Shale. For the next 55 river miles, the slope of the Bright Angel Shale, sandwiched between cliffs of Moab limestone above and Tapit sandstone below, form the Tonto platform. On the south side of the river, a sequence of trails wind across the entire length of the Tonto platform, usually near the boundary between the Bright Angel Shale and the Tapits. The first of those trails, the Beamer Trail, starts right here at the confluence, and we can follow its path off to the south until it disappears around the first bend. Heading upstream from here, you can journey eight miles up the river to the Nankweep Delta area and climb up to the Anasazi Granary for a spectacular view back downstream. Heading downstream, our next panorama spot is just a short distance away on the Beamer Trail, still close to the Little Colorado, and where we do see the Little Colorado running blue.